StockX, StockX. It's been a while since we had a chat. Yeah, man, we got some crazy, crazy news. And I wonder how this will affect the market down the road. Uh, but anyways, big news up. Get straight into it, man. Nike is suing StockX. Crazy, right? But they're still they're suing them. They're taking them to the New York federal court for their for StockX selling the unauthorized NFTs. All right. Apparently, apparently it was like unauthorized. You know, they're just. I think StockX they were using like they weren't using like uh, they're, they're using like their own NFTs or something. I I really don't know that much about NFT guys. I'm just gonna keep it 100. I don't get into it. I don't know what it is. I think it's an avatar or a picture. I know they're worth some money. People are like trying to sell them for a crazy amount of money or something. I I just don't know what it is. Like it's, it's is it like for avatar? I don't know. It's, it's crazy, but I know it's kind of a, a thing, you know, but that, I just don't really get into that type of era. Like, you know, like I didn't get into Bitcoin. We see how the market's doing on that. And same goes with these NFTs. I don't know anything about it. I'm just like Kanye, right? You know, I'm out here trying to make what do you say? He's like, I'm making real music in the real world and or something, you know? <laughs> and this is crazy. So, yeah, for real. This is Nike, man. Nike ain't nothing to play with. Like, when they sue, like how they did like with Warren Lotus and stuff like that, they are ready to... They they really try to take you down, man. And for, Stock, for Nike to come at like an actual corporation like StockX, which is also worth billions of dollars, but, you know, Nike's is like way and far beyond. But still, this is like big two companies head, to, you know, bumping heads. But now in this article here, you can kind of, you know, uh, I will leave the links in the li links below if you guys want to read about it. But yeah, man, um, Nike is suing an online resale stock X in New York federal court uh, for selling unauthorized image of Nike shoes and marketing them, marking the latest lawsuit over digital assets because I did hear that Nike is going to come up with their own like digital like virtual format of their own products. I could I could get this wrong but from what I remember what StockX said like you could purchase their you know NFTs and eventually comes into a you know a physical format or you know the, the actual shoe eventually or something. Like I said I don't know how it works you guys can explain on the comments I'm really dumb about NFTs all I know is it stands for not non-refundable tokens or <laughs> Something like that. But StockX has sold over 500 Nike branded NFTs over StockX. So the lawsuit uh, complains that the NFTs inflation inflated prices in Merck terms of purchases and ownership. So something about, you know, Nike said they're going to release their own number of virtual pro Nike's going to release their own virtual products later in the month. So that's probably what it is. Like, you know, they're kind of like they're jump on their thing while this is you know that's the actual official nike and nike ain't trying to let no one else just make their own stuff especially when they ain't touch no bread on it and, you know hence that's kind of what happened with warren lotus um but that was just more of a copycat thing and everything else but this is just like about the whole nfts because of the nike swoosh and all but yeah man this is uh anyways you guys can read the article there's not really much to it like there's no numbers of like how much to sue them for or what they're gonna be doing i mean if you look on stock x right now you can literally see that they're still selling the nfts which is are going for a ridiculous amount of money first of all nfts for chunky donkeys are going for lowest ask is twenty thousand dollars what and same goes with like a lot 50 is going for twenty thousand what who makes these prices so StockX, i think they're trying to say like you can buy your nft goes into your StockX portfolio and then you can sell it on StockX and redeem it for a real pair instead so you can spend 20 bands or the hell you can probably just buy a legit one for freaking whatever the hell it costs on StockX, and you can have one for reals that's all i'm saying i don't get this whole nft stuff I, I call me old cat or whatever um you know i'm a millennial but damn i don't know what this is. <laughs> what is the nft i don't look man i don't dog on any way how they, anyone will try to make their money um this this nft stuff it just kind of reminds me of like how you guys remember that top shot shot or something like that that top shop stuff where you can own moments of videos i'm like yo you can just literally get that on youtube or something or or um, you know, cryptos was a big one. I know that was really big. I know some people made some really good money 
I did hear and saw that the market did crash on it, but this is when something that I don't understand, I'm not gonna get into it. You know, like I rather get into shoes and just start to do my marketing on shoes because I know shoes, I know how to move shoes, I know how to make money on shoes, but with NFTs, I don't know anything about it. So not saying it calling anyone stupid or anything, but I'm just saying like, I just don't understand it. So I'm not gonna get into it, but I'm seeing the ridiculous amount of money on it, which kind of doesn't make sense. Um, but anyways, with this lawsuit, what will it actually do to StockX? Well, first of all, they gotta take down the NFTs. Uh, that's one. Uh, two, will this really kind of hurt everything else? Will this uh, lawsuit cause StockX to charge more fees on their products? I mean, I haven't sold on StockX in like years. In years, I haven't sold on there in a while. I went back up to level, I think like one or zero. Like I haven't, I haven't sold on StockX in a long time, man. I, I bought some things, but I never sold on StockX um, in a while, in a long time. The whole thing, the whole thing about StockX, the way how they make their prices on their NFTs, like uh, it's, it's kind of fine line for me, like. I hate to say it, but kind of like a scam, allegedly, you know, like in my opinion, it just, you know, it's just kind of like picks that you can use on their platform. But, you know, they can't really do, you know, they're not supposed to make their own Nike, you know, shoe NFT because it's not theirs. I mean, Nike owns the whole swoosh and Nike is a direct copy and, and they try to say what it is. But like the prices is what I have a problem on. Like you guys saw that like Lowe's ass is $20,000 and uh, like Lowe's bid is 4,000. Someone's willing to spend $4,000. Like that that's to me where it draws a fine line of what the hell is going on, you know? And some things just don't make sense to more anymore these days, man. Like I just, I'm trying to keep up with it, but you know, NFTs is one of those things where I'm gonna have to wait and see y'all. Like this is the one, I, <laughs> it's like in a, sci-fi movie or something i really don't know it's just a picture right still man um it's crazy that how nike is actually going to take up arms with stock x so you can you you can you know that nike watches stock x you know that they're seeing like stock x what they're doing how the price is on on some shoes like so you know that stock like Nike knows what the resale market is, all right? Let's not let's not get that twisted, all right? We're, we're gonna, let's be for real. They know the hype, they know how everything's supposed to cost and what the mar the secondary market's gonna be. And usually the secondary market is always more expensive, that's for sure. Um, so that just takes account, account of something like that. So um, yeah, man, it's, it's crazy. But yeah, man, it's crazy that, um, <laughs> that Nike is gonna be suing StockX. I wonder how that's gonna go. I wonder if any other like entities that's trying to sell like you know uh, unauthorized products too as well of unauthorized Nike products too. Because when I first saw the article, I was like unauthorized. Like I thought they were trying to sue StockX for like selling fakes, which I mean can't really do anything. Uh, you know, guys, that's that's more of like a civil thing. I think you know like from people. I don't think Nike can directly sue StockX for that, but you know how that goes. But hey, man. Uh, we'll see what happens, man. It's kind of crazy. Just more crazy, crazy news. And... <laughs> oh, StockX, man. I swear. Every time. Anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. You guys don't mind. Please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below. And please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media at Chris on IG. Sometimes on Twitter. And don't forget Snapchat. Anyway, guys. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm Jumpin' Chris. Pish.